All right, today we are looking at area. We will look at the square, rectangle, the rhombus, parallelogram, the triangle, and the trapezoid. All right, so when we're talking about area, we're looking at the amount of surface that a particular two-dimensional figure covers. Um, and then to measure the area of any figure, we're usually using these standardized um, squares. Um, so for example here, um, this square, if it's one centimeter long and one centimeter wide, then we call it one centimeter squared, like so. Um, if it's one meter long and one meter wide, then it would be called one meter squared. Um, obviously, it's too big to draw on this page. So here we're looking at three centimeters squared. We've got three centimeters squared in here for area. Um, in this diagram here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight centimeters squared um, here, um, two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine centimeters squared in this figure. Um, we can use other metric units to describe the area. Of particular figures. So for example, um, here if you're told um, that the, the dimensions are in meters, then your area would be in meters squared. So for example, here this would be six meters squared. Um, this figure here, again, if you're told we're working with meters, or sorry, this is kilometers, so this would be 10 um, kilometers squared here. All right, we'll watch a quick video on math antics and area, and then we will look at examples of different figures and the formulas we're going to be using. So let's just pause here. All right, so here, our first example, we're looking at a rectangle. Um, the formula for a rectangle, area is equal to length times width. All right, so area is length times width. Our length is 13 centimeters. Our width is 6 centimeters. Just got to multiply 13 times 6, which gives me 78. And it is centimeters times centimeters. Therefore, centimeters squared. All right, so all area calculations, the units are always squared, squared units. All right, for a square, um, all sides are the same. That's what we know from that tick mark, that all sides are the same, all sides are there for seven kilometers. The formula for a square is side times side. It's also seen as side squared, because it's side times side. So seven times seven, so therefore 49 units are kilometers, so therefore kilometers squared. All right, the next example we're looking at is a rhombus. A rhombus is a tilted square, and the formula for a rhombus is A times B. The A represents the altitude. Altitude, which is also the height, and then B represents the base. All right, so again, um, this is a rhombus, it's a tilted square, all four sides are the same, um, but when we're looking for the area, it is the side or the base multiplied by the height or altitude. All right, so area equals a, b, altitude is 10, the base is 12, so just multiply 10 times 12, and we get 120 units or meters, so meters squared. And next we have a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a tilted rectangle. So again, the two opposite sides, they are the same, shown here, 27 decimeters here and 27 decimeters here. Um, this side is not even given to us. Um, what we do know is the altitude or height, and we have the base. So similarly to the rhombus, the area of a parallelogram is altitude multiplied by base. The altitude is 8 decimeters. The base is 27 decimeters. 
we'll just multiply 8 times 27, and that gives me 216 decimeters squared. All right, units are important. Make sure um, you're squaring your units. Okay, I'm going to pause here and let you guys try these ones. Okay, so our first one here, our altitude is 8 centimeters. The base in the, is 19 centimeters. So here, um, 8 times 19, that gives me 152 centimeters squared. Okay, for this rhombus, we need to know altitude and base. Our altitude is 4.3, the base is 5.25, and that gives me 22.575, and the units are meters squared. Um, so for these ones, we have a square, we have a rectangle, um, area here would be side squared, which is side times side. So 6.21 times 6.21 and grab my calculator. That gives me 38.5641 and that would be kilometers squared. And here the rectangle we know our formula is length times width, so 13.3 multiplied by 5, and I'll just put that into my calculator. That gives me 66.5, and that's in meters squared. All right, so like we saw in the video, um, area of triangles, a triangle it's a half of a parallelogram or half of a rhombus or half of a square or half of a rectangle. Um, and like we saw in the video, sometimes it's base times height that is used. Sometimes it's A times B where A represents altitude, B still represents base. Um, you may have seen um, formulas like this, A equals 0.5 AB. A equals half AB, A equals AB divided by 2. They're all the same thing. Um, the one we saw in the video was A equals half uh, base times height. Um, still the same thing for calculating the area of a triangle. So in this example, um, our height is shown here um, from this vertex, um, the apex, um, all the way down to the base. So height here or altitude is 7 meters. The base is 16 meters. Okay, and then that little square is showing that 90 degree angle, uh, meaning that this is perpendicular um, to this line here. So you can put it in your calculator as 0 0.5 times 7 times 16, um, or you can use your half, 1 divided by 2 times 7 times 16, or you can do 7 times 16 and divide it by 2. Either way, your answer will be the same. So in this case, um, 56 meters squared. All right, let's take a look at this example. Um, so area is equal to 0 0.5 altitude multiplied by base. The altitude is 8 meters. The base is 9 meters. Okay, so you just have to put that into the calculator. And we get 36 meters squared. Okay, I'll give you guys a moment to try these two here. Um, so this one here we have um, altitude is 2.4 centimeters and our base is 3.8 centimeters. So area is equal to 0 0.5 AB. 0 0.5 times 2.4 times 3.8. I'll just put that into the calculator. And you get 4.56 centimeters squared. This one here, 
formula is always the same for triangles, 0.5ab. So here our altitude is 6 meters and the base is 8 meters. And that gives me 24 meters squared. So we're looking here at area of a trapezoid. There's two formulas we can use. Um, so the first one here is 0.5a times base 1 plus 0.5a times base 2. All right, so recall from last class when we were looking at perimeter of trapezoids, we have these two bases. The two bases are always uh, parallel um, to each other, so meaning equal distance, equal distance at all times. Um, so first base, um, 16 centimeters, second base would be 12 centimeters. And then this here is representing the altitude or the height. All right, so the first method, um, the first formula we can use is this one. Um, the second formula you can use is 0 0.5 multiplied by altitude. And then in brackets, we have base 1 plus base 2. Okay, we'll, we'll do it both ways. So first, um, 0 0.5. Altitude is 7 multiplied by 16 as base 1 plus 0 0.5. Altitude is 7 and base 2 is 12. All right, so when we're working on this, we would calculate this part first. Um, 0 0.5 times 7 times 16, that gives me 56. And then we would calculate this, 0 0.5 times 7 times 12, that is 42. And that gives me the area for the trapezoid. We add 56 plus 42, 98 centimeters squared. All right, we can use the other formula as well. So area is 0 0.5 times a, which is 7, and then in brackets we would have 16 plus 12. All right, so we would have to do these brackets first, according to the rules of bed mass. Um, 16 plus 12 is 28. Now we can go ahead and multiply 0 0.5 times 7 times 28, which is still 98 centimeters squared. All right, so either formula will work for those questions. All right, so I'm just going to use the bottom formula here just because I have room. Um, so 0 0.5 times the altitude, which is 5.8. And then it's base 1 plus base 2. Base 1 is 12.3. Base 2 is 9. So 12.3 plus 9. And you have to do the brackets first. So we have to do this addition in the brackets first. So 0 0.5 times 5.8. And then 12.3 plus 9 is 21.3. Now you can go ahead and multiply 0 0.5 times 5.8 times 21.3. And we get our area um, 61.77 meters squared. All right, so I'll pause here.